any part of your body that's not functioning well and as we pray in the name of jesus our lord for the mighty spoken word healing will come to you there Jesus name we pray. Amen. I want you to shout I am a living soul. Lift up your voice and praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Appreciate what he has been doing for you. Right from day one. Let's thank the Lord too for his servant he has been using. The anointing of the Lord upon him. The hand of the Lord upon him. The way the spirit of the Lord is operating mightily through him. The signs and wonders we are witnessing. We are blessed to be part of history. Something historic is happening here. Let's give God glory. Let's worship the Lord. Let's pray for our Father in the Lord. The Lord will renew his strength. The Lord will multiply the anointing upon him. Fresh oil. The Lord will grant unto him today. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. A much louder amen. It's all about Jesus. Whatever question I ask, just answer Jesus. Who is the Savior? Who is the healer? Who is the deliverer? Who is the redeemer? Who is the sanctifier? Who is the baptizer with power? Who is the mountain mover? Who is the problem solver? I want you to shout it's all about Jesus. Look up to heaven and shout it to him. It's all about you, Lord Jesus. Now lift up your voice and exalt him. Worship him and praise him and tell him it's all about you. She build a throne, come Lord Jesus, and take your place. Everybody, shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us see. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas we roar at the sun of your name. I sing for joy at the works of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have. Lift up your voice and just celebrate Jesus this day. Just worship him. Just exalt him, magnify him. Give him the glory. Let's worship Jesus. Let's praise him. Let's adore him together. Is the one at work. He's saving. He's healing. He's breaking yokes. He's delivering. 
it's changing stories it's moving mountains it's opening doors open your mouth and lift him up let's worship him let's adore him give glory to jesus give honor to jesus magnify the king of kings and the lord of lords no one like the savior no healer like him no deliverer like him the great physician the author and finisher of our faith promise keeper mountain mover way maker miracle worker lift him up let's worship and exalt him lift him up above all names that are named all powers that be all creation lift him up above the heavens and the earth lift him up with your voice of praise magnify glorify the prince of peace emmanuel god with us Tell him it's all about you, Jesus. We are here because of you. Let's worship him for what he has started to do right from the first night. Let's praise him for his servant that he's using. Now begin to praise him in anticipation of the great visitation you are going to witness tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. People come to a program like this for various reasons. I've never seen that man before. Let me go and see his face. They've been mounting pressure on me. If I don't go, it will not be fair. But there's only one purpose to be here. Encounter. I want you to shout encounter. Shout it like you believe it. Lift up your two hands to everyone and say, Lord, I want to encounter you tonight. It's all about you. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, I am here for one purpose today, to encounter you. And nothing will stop me. Nothing will hinder me. Lord, whatever appears to be a blockade or a barricade or a barrier, to my encounter your power tonight, in your mercy, take it away. I am here to experience that divine encounter. Lord, here am I. Here am I. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. I'm not just going to be a participant. I'm going to be a partaker of the blessing. And a testifier. In Jesus' name we pray. Please listen very well. After the prayer of the servant of God, you see people looking up and down. Where are the people coming out to testify? As if you came to be a spectator. You should be shaking yourself. Because you are connected to the power. But instead of doing that, we begin to look around. Where is the person? Where are they? Are they coming out to testify? You are going to lift up your right hand to everyone and say, Lord, I want to be the first testifier tonight. I want to be the first recipient of your blessing. Open your mouth and pray. 
It's not just coming to look around. Where are the people going to testify? You are here yourself for blessing. You are here yourself for miracle. You are part of God's plan. The provision is meant for you too. Your portion is included. Tell the Lord, I want to be a testifier tonight. Visit me, Lord. Visit me. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord your desire. I want to receive from the Lord. Pray against every form of distraction. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to lift up your right hand and shout, Jesus. At the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. We are going to pray. You can't have a program of this magnitude and not activate the kingdom of darkness. We want to pray. We don't fear them. You are going to decree in the name above all names, every opposition, manipulation, intimidation, invocation, incantation, whatever it is, begin to destroy them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Launch out on the offensive against all manipulation and activities of darkness tonight. We are more than conquerors. At that name, every knee will bow. Lift up your voice. Bind. Break in pieces. Pull down stronghold. Cast down satanic demonic altars. Scatter their gathering. Open your mouth and pray. You are praying in the irresistible name. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Lord, open the windows of heaven upon us tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Open the windows of heaven, Lord. Cause the showers to come down. This is the appointed season. There shall be showers of blessing. Yes, let it fall. The rain of salvation. The rain of healing. The rain of deliverance. Torrential downpour tonight. Send the showers as you have promised, as you have purpose. Open your mouth and pray to the Lord. Let the showers come down. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, pray for the servant of the living God. Newness, freshness of anointing, of glory, of utterance of function of inspiration open your mouth and pray for him before we round off pray for the servant of god newness there is always more from the fountain from the source the source is inexhaustible let there be a greater flow a greater manifestation tonight here at the alpha location and globally May your hand be stronger and mightier upon your servant than ever before, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we adore you. Blessed Holy Spirit, we worship you. As we start, we pray that Alpha and Omega, you take over. We pray you manifest your glory magnify jesus in our midst tonight thank you father in jesus name we pray and the people of god say praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah And all the time, God is good. So this is the four of the crusade divine encounter with the God of miracles. From day one to day three, we have seen a lot of miracles. And indeed, we've had a divine encounter with the God of miracles. And today on day four, if you've not yet received your miracle, today you are receiving your miracle. Because the God of miracles is already here. Amen. Amen. So I'll ask you to stand on your feet.
as we worship God in songs of worship. time for us to praise the Lord and be rejoice. Amen. Amen. I come before you today and there's just one thing that I want to say. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord for all you've given to me. For all the blessings that I cannot see. 
Praise the Lord. Can we give the Lord a bigger clap offering? Joel chapter 2. Open your Bibles. Joel chapter 2. Here is a promise. Verse 21. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Can we shout the loudest? Amen. Amen. What will the Lord do for you today? What will the Lord do for you in particular today? If you believe it, shout it out. Great things. The Lord will confirm it in the name of Jesus. We are going to sing a congregational song now. Please. We are singing Come Believing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great and wonderful crusade. Thank you for all you've done for us so far. We pray that tonight will be extraordinary. Visit everyone. Confirm your blessing upon every life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are singing from page two, Come Believing. Once again, the gospel message from the Savior you have heard. Will you hear the invitation? Will you turn and seek the Lord? Many summers you have wasted, ripened right harvest you have seen. Winter snows by spring have melted, yet you linger in your sin. Jesus, for your choice, is waiting. Tarry not at once decide. While the Spirit now is striving, yield 
and seek the Savior's side. Cease of fitness to be thinking. Do not longer try to feel. It is trusting and not feeling that will give the spirit seal. Let your will to God be given. Trust in Christ's atoning blood. Look to Jesus now in heaven. Rest on his unchanging word. Come believing. Come believing. Come to Jesus. Look and live. Come believing. Come believing. Come to Jesus. Look and live.
Let's give the Lord a global amen. Amen. We remain standing as we go to the Lord in prayer. At this time, we are going to pray for nations that are currently undergoing war, crisis, and violence. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 6, it says, the Bible says, I will give peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will read evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. Let's pray for Ukraine and Russia. Let's call upon the name of the Lord on behalf of that country concerning the ongoing war. We are going to pray that God Almighty will intervene. Currently, since the war began 20 months ago, about 500,000 of the Ukrainians and Russians have been killed or injured. We are going to pray and talk to God, the Lord Almighty will intervene. More than 11.6 million Ukrainians, you know, they remain displaced. Let us pray for reconciliation. Let us pray for a ceasefire. Let us pray that God will touch the heart of both presidents. They will come to compromise that will cause the war to cease in Jesus' name. Let's pray for Central African Republic. That country has been in years of conflict and instability. We are going to pray. As a result of the conflict, it has destroyed, you know, the infrastructure and government institution leaving millions of people without access to clean water. We are going to pray that God will bring stability and God will resolve all conflicts in Jesus' name. Let us pray for Ethiopia. Due to the crisis in that country, there's increase in the price of food stuff. By default, this has affected so many people in that country. Let us pray that God will resolve every crisis. Let's pray for Syria. You know, we are going to pray as a result of the war, as a result of the crisis in that country, it has created the largest, you know, refugee and displacement crisis of our time. We are going to pray that God in heaven will resolve every issue in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray for Mali. You know, recently there was terrorist attack in that country, and there have been several arrests. There have been execution and ill treatment. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord, that God will cause every crisis in Mali to cease in Jesus' name. Let's pray for other nations. Let's pray for Libya. Let's pray for Somalia. Let's pray for South, South Sudan. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that whatever the peculiar nature of the crisis, whatever the peculiar nature of the war, whatever the peculiar nature of the violence in such countries, God Almighty will intervene. God Almighty will cause every war, every crisis, every violence to cease in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray for other nations where we can see the in, some indicators, where we can see some sign that's going to be crisis. We don't want crisis. We don't want war. We are going to pray all nations that currently that there are indicators that are going to be war, there are going to be crisis. The Lord will cause all sorts of indicators to go away in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. We have country like Iran. We have country like Yemen. We have country like Haiti. We have country you know, th that you can see these indicators. Let's pray that there shall be no war in those nations in Jesus' name. We are going to pray that God will bring an end to all civil unrest and also protest in the nation worldwide. Let's pray that God will console and will comfort all those who have lost their loved ones. Some have lost their father, some have lost their mother, some have lost their children, some have lost their property. We are going to pray and call upon the name of the Lord that the Lord will console them. The Lord is going to comfort them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray that God will cause peace to reign. You know, God will cause peace to reign in this nation and that there will be love, that there will be forgiveness and there will be righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and talk to God. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray that as a result of this crisis, as a result of this, you know, this violence in this country, as a result of their experience, that God will draw many to, to himself and and it will make them to put their trust and hope on him. The Bible says that they that put their trust in the Lord, well, you know, they will not be disappointed. Let us pray and call upon the name of the Lord that God will cause these people, people the, 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 the people in the nation, to put their trust in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. That the gospel, you know, will have its way in these nations and will bring about massive salvation of souls in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray for, for the 
believers, you know, that they are in this country, they will not lose their faith. I say they will not lose their faith in Jesus' name. Let us pray for our missionaries. Let us pray for our pastors. Let us pray for the Christian in this country, in those countries, that the Lord will help them to, con to be steadfast. They will continue steadfastly in the faith. They will remain committed. They will remain dedication. And their consecration will remain firm in Jesus' name. Let's pray that God will help them in the midst of this crisis, in the midst of this violence, they will remain steadfast in the faith in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray for our Jesus. We are going to pray for our general superintendent, then the convener of the GCK. Let us pray. God will grant him special anointing, divine and physical strength, with the power to minister throughout the, the GCK in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord will continue to protect him. The Lord will continue to use him in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 11, the Bible says, And God wrought special miracle by the hand of Paul. God will continue continue to wrought a special miracle in the hands, in the true our general superintendent in the name of Jesus. There will be an unprecedented harvest of souls. There will be signs and wonders and miracle across the nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray for all our overseers. Let's pray, you know, for all our pastors. Let's pray for our missionary that God in heaven will continue to use them. That we continue to play supporting role to the work the GS is doing at general Superintendent is doing in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now it's not time for you to pray for yourself. On day one, God wrought great miracle. On day two, day three, you know, the power of God was in demonstration. Today, God is going to do great thing. I say God is going to do great thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Why not pray and commit yourself into the hands of the Lord? Because the Lord is going to touch you today. The Lord is going to do something unique. The Lord is going to do something extraordinary in your life today in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, just one touch from the Lord today. Just one touch from the God of miracle. You know, it will make a difference in your life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Blind eyes we see today. Every captive will be set free today. Lost souls will be saved today. Open your mouth and pray and commit yourself into the hands of the Lord as the man of God will be coming to minister. As the man of God, our general superintendent will be coming to minister the word of God in the name of Jesus. Every trouble in your life will give way. Every heart cake must flee in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm very optimistic. The lame, you know, will live for joy today in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Evil forces will be destroyed today. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord is going to visit you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Things will never remain the same again after the program today in in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we go down the memory lane in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray and talk to God. Pray and call upon the name of the Lord. Even if they don't believe in your life, the faith of the man of God will overrule their unbelief. For you to receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Let's bless the name of the Lord because the Lord has done it. It is settled. It is confirmed. It is sealed. And it will come to pass in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we thank you because we know you've answered. We thank you because there shall be miracles. There shall be signs and wonder. We exalt your name. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can do better than that. Praise the Lord. You are welcome. This day, Sunday evening, it will be a time of unprecedented miracle for you. There will be an encounter with the Almighty God. And the God of heaven will visit everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. 
You are welcome to this uh, evening's crusade. I want to remind you once again that this crusade started on Thursday, the 21st. Today is the 24th. Tomorrow it is continuing in the evening. And next tomorrow, the 26th, is going to be the final night for this crusade. We'll be having the grand finale. You can't miss that. Tomorrow morning at the Kenneth Kaunda International Conference Center, Mulungushi Conference Center. At the Kenneth Kaunda International Conference Center wing. We will be there at the main arena, the main hall. That's where we are having our ministers, church workers, and professional conference. Tomorrow morning, eight hours, zero eight hours, zero six hours GMT. Please don't miss it. All church workers, all professionals, all ministers of the Gospels are welcome and come to receive an impartation. Special anointing will be flowing down from the man of God, the Father in the Lord, the convener of the GCK. And he's been preparing, praying for us, and you can't afford to be absent where it will all be happening tomorrow morning zero eight hours zero six hours gmt zero eight hours local time please be present there and uh, tuesday also you can't miss that one let's invite our colleagues let's bring our neighbors and let's prepare to receive freely from the lord at the minister's conference. Tomorrow, all the converts from day one, Thursday, day two, Friday, day three, Saturday, and day four, today, you are expected tomorrow by three o'clock at the hall where the choir have been practicing from. You come there, you'll be having lunch hour with Jesus. And we will use that opportunity to interact with you and bring the materials that you will need that will help you in your journey, in your spiritual pilgrimage. As you journey on, you need some support and some help. And that's the reason why we want to interact with you and in all our other locations across the globe, they'll give you the details of where those meetings will be taking place on the 1st of October, the first Sunday. In October, we are going to be having celebration. It's a converts rally across the globe, and here we'll be having it at our headquarters church, behind Kamala High School, CH5 Deeper Life Road in Lusaka. That's where we'll be meeting and uh, we'll be having our converts rally there. Across the globe, they'll give you the details of where it will be taking place. And uh, by the grace of God, we're expecting great things this particular evening. Thank you very much. God bless you. Gratitude is one of the most powerful practices that humans can implement in their lives. Thankfulness grows our view of God while enabling us to see our need for God. We celebrate what God is doing in this world through us. And music evokes praise to God and it opens our hearts to receive direction and vision for our lives and it calms our hearts. As we listen to the music, what makes you thankful? 
God is the giver of all good gifts. Psalm 125 says, we will sing for joy over your victory. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. We bring to you choirs from states, regions, and nations from across the globe. Boom. Boom. the 
Jesus' resurrection of oh, me.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's time for testimonies. While we're listening to the testimonies we have, please, if you have a testimony yourself, you quickly go to the left-hand side of the stage. That's the all right-hand side where ministers are waiting to interview you. Praise the Lord. My names are My names are Patson Weta Zulu. I'm from Chongwe, Zambia. I had a pro I had a spiritual uh, problem whereby I used to have spiritual attacks. I could hear voices, especially during the evenings. I could hear a lot of voices, people surrounding uh, my houses, my house. So those voices, at times they could disturb me such that uh, I could not sleep. Then sometimes it went to an extent that uh, I could find myself in the bush. So the last attack that I had prompted my sister, who is also a member of uh, this church, Deeper Life, to call me to inform me that there was a, a, a crusade, a global crusade, there which would start, which was slated on the on the uh, Thursday. So I moved from uh, Chongwe to come to my sister's house here uh, there in Avondale. So on Thursday in the uh, in the evening, as we were watching on the TV, the man of God, our Father. Dr. Pastor Kumui, as he was praying, what happened was uh, at the end of saying amen, something happened in, in my body. In my ears, the, I could feel there were some, ob some objects which were, which were coming out of, my, out of my ears. Now, as they were coming out, I tried to to, to touch, but I couldn't uh, feel anything tangible that I, that, uh, that I could touch. But they continued coming out. And then at the end of the day, I mean, at, uh, at the end of uh, uh, praying, after saying amen, then I told my sister what had transpired. From Thursday up to this time, those voices are no longer with me. So I praise God for the I thank God for using our father, Dr. Pastor Kumoi, for the miracles that God is using to, to do. My prayer to God is that may the Almighty God continue to bless our father to continue to, go, to do more exploits in this ministry which he has been called. Thank Amen. you very much. Praise God. Amen. Okay, so uh, in terms of spiritually, we can't define it, but medically, uh, the condition he's describing is referred to as psychosis or what you've probably heard as schizophrenia. Now, patients with schizophrenia normally tend to have these hallucinations and they tend to have these voices that we call delusions. And sometimes those are the people you will see in the streets walking because they are being caught somewhere. So that's what you call schizophrenia or hallucinations or basically psychosis. And uh, that's, what, that's the condition he was describing. Thank you. Can we put our hands together for the Lord? The next testifier. Sister Monica Banda, Jawama District, Lusaka, Zambia. Lusaka, Zambia. Nditandizira kupereke la mboni, wamai, Harriet Msonda. 
Mwamena na dualira. So, yenze day ya Thursday, anauka na ukamboti nilibempa mfu. Mzuu wa matuwa vawazi kwa pereka kukliniki, anabwela wapasa mankwala wa BP. Kupa Friday, matenda na kosa, ni kuwatenga kwa pereka kuchawama hospital. Kuchawama hospital kuja, anabwela waika oksijeni, na kuwaika pipe yo dieramo, na, kuya, na kukamba senzo kamba, kunyanga nyase kuhuka senzo uke, nze chabe, kosa ziba chiri chonse. So, pamene day ya crusade na bura ya fika, tirimu hospital, anatenga phone, tinatenga phone kuwaikila kumatu. So, pamene ya abusa watu akuru, pamene anali kupempera manje, kupempera la odwala, kupempera mavuto. Anali kufomera chabe uti, mm, akati in Jesus name we pray. So, kuseni kwa kaena, anabwela ankala na, na nzeru, na ukamba uti, municho sere, Chamele chiri mpuno, sinis vifuna. So a doctor na kambote, ah, amai vapola. So na mwamena anda buwela kuchicho sera kuenda kunyumba kuma senzo enda. So lomba, ine, na perela pamene hapa, vosa lila za siri za veka. Amen. Bless Lord. Hallelujah. Bless and Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nende fwa yo kutotela lesa wandi. Papi ya nchitila. Pamwe wa wandi mbu mbu wandi. Mwe wana ba kwa lesa. Na shirelu wala nchashu no kutina wala shani. Shaku eti ya makanshale. Nda wa enyafye. Ele nomba ilo ba mpu mshe mchipata ala. Kundeta kunganda. Na mpu ile shiwi. Lile nje waliti. Kosa uitina. Na kuku imi anoku boko kwa ndu kwa maka. Kosa uitina. Na kukui meno kupoko kwa ndu kwa maka. Eno wa pitenshita na ishire mfwesi wifuti li denje wali. Ima. Ima. Ito nena mfwidi ya mwaka mwumili na isa kulumuka papeti na imi nina no kui minina. Ito na ishire kulumuka papeti na imi nina. Na mfwafuti siwe di alanda futi si wati. Enda. Na ajewa ajewa. Aliti enda. Aope na tamba no kuenda no kutampula mweba na wako alisa. Na tamba no kuenda. Una afuma pake pado na la kusiti. Ilo na afikile kusiti ukwa liya aopa ikele awe sikulu na bamae. Na muna wa tampo kupunda watu. Wampu ya maenda, wampu ya maenda. Nomba jaso wesha, nomba kaili nchale landa, nchale enda. Yampe siya mwano. Ilo na afika na kwa nika na ikala na pampando. Ilo na ikile pampando. Mbafu mshafi wesi wiwa mati. Ilo fina mufu mini oko. If you are not open, you are not open. 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 Praise the Lord. Her name is Ariet Musonda. As I've heard from the person keeping her, she was very sick. Took her to hospital, given oxygen. It was very bad. So when the, they put a microphone near here, as the pastor prayed, the miracle took place. So she's saying here, the walking, whatever is the power of prayer. God healed her, and now she's strong. Praise the Lord. Can we hear from the medical practitioner? Okay, so uh, okay, so what she's describing is referred to as an ischemic stroke, and what she's describing as was put in her nose is a nasogastric tube. We normally use that to feed patients who have uh, stroke. So this is stroke that's affecting the whole brain. And that's how she was not able to walk and use her upper limbs, her hands. So in that case, we normally confirm that with a CT. But as you've heard, it was impossible to do that because the patient had asked to leave. So what she's describing is an ischemic stroke. Thank you. How long did it last? Can we ask her? Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, can we put our hands together for the Lord?
We can do better than that. Can we put our hands together for the Lord? While the IFR Location Choir is coming, please take note. GCK is bringing hope to the old place. You are next in line. It is your time. It is your turn. God bless you. Praise the Lord. My name is Ankumbo Msonda from Kushi, Zambia. It was last year, January, uh, I experienced a severe pain in my stomach and I had severe heartburns. They were so severe that they had to refer me to the University Teaching Hospital. There, they, I went for an endoscopy of which I was diagnosed with heart as hernia. Then from that, the doctors prescribed some medicines and told me to say the only solution is an operation. I should go back after three months. Within the period of that three months, I attended one of the GCKs and the man of God prayed. I believed, but by then I didn't know my hernia was gone. I continued taking the medication. Then after three months, I went back to the hospital and I was told, I was told to go back for an endoscopy, of which I did, and they discovered my hernia was gone, and that's how I was healed. Praise the Lord. Okay, so what our brother was defining, or what the gentleman was defining, is called a hiato hernia. Now, a hiato hernia is where um, there is something that separates your abdomen from the thorax or your stomach from the chest. So then, in a hiato hernia, that thing that separates becomes weak, and things tend to move from the abdomen into the chest. The pain he was describing is because, because of that movement, things tend to go up into the chest and that acidic uh, tone in the stomach tends to cause that heat and it's described as a burning sensation and normally we treat it by operation the endoscopy he was talking about is just basically a camera that we use to diagnose uh, the hernia or the movement of things from the abdomen to to the chest so that's the hiato hernia thank you My name is Eunice Ibrahim. I was born and brought up in a Christian home. But along the line, I deviated. And I found myself in the world. Due to peer pressure and in search of finance and solution to my problem, in search of freedom from my challenges and body. And instead of getting freedom, I discovered that my problem keep growing worse. I later discovered I found myself into drunkenness, masturbation, stealing, and all sorts of evil things. All of a sudden, from the blues, I had the information that our daddy in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumui, is coming to River State. So I came to the venue. And the first day of the program, it seems as if nothing happened. The second day I prayed, I told God, I need a visitation. I need a change of life. I need a touch of life. And nothing happened. But on the third day, I was told that there was a youth impact. I never had interest going, but I was advised to go. When I got there, immediately the man of God mounted the pulpit and started preaching. When I heard the, top, the title of the message, I said, yes, this is for me. My time has arrived. God has already planned it for me. I key into it, and I focused until the end of the message. At the end of the message, I prayed. I said, yes, God has visited me. And due to my past life, I had some sicknesses, some experiences that have been going through and one of it was the issue of cold. Anytime a little cold gets into me, my body system reacts immediately. My body system pains me a lot and my stomach will swell up. Most times I don't go to toilet. But that day, immediately after the encounter, I rose up. I started sweating all of a sudden. I ran outside for ventilation. I felt pressed. I ran to the restroom. I passed out to urine, a lot of urine, and after that, I felt relief. My stomach went down. I touched, began to touch. The stomach wasn't swollen again, it wasn't hard. And deep within me, I had this peace of mind. My prayer for our daddy is that the Lord will keep him. As the Lord is using him to touch lives, to change life, to change the stories 
of many people. The Lord will keep him for us and the Lord will use him mightily to the glory of his name. Ephraim Abigail Taylor. My name is Abigail Taylor. Fifi Fifi my son is six years old. When I took seed of him, I suffered before giving birth to him at the labor ward. The doctor told me my son is suffering from cerebral palsy epilepsy. This child's case is a case of cerebral palsy. Um, after difficult delivery, um, the child suffered cerebral hypoxia and ended up with marked uh, developmental delays. When he was two years old, I taught him to walk, but he didn't. It lasted for five years. Last year, September, he started walking bit by bit, but he kept falling after walking for a while until I was told the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, is coming to Ghana. We joined the global crusade with Kumuyi in Ghana for the six days hoping he will have the ability to speak and walk well. But we waited without any sign. So after the program, I took a step of faith to see the convener. When we got to the airport, I didn't tell Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi what was wrong with my child. But he saw everything and just prayed for him. We heard that he's going. So quickly we said, no, when he get to the airport, we we'll always see him when we get him. So we we'll meet him at the airport and then we went and eventually we met him. So Jesus prayed. We didn't tell him anything, he didn't ask us anything, but he mentioned all the problems. He said, Whatever is causing the, uh, the, the walking, whatever is causing him, doing his speaking, the Lord should clear it out and let him speak and let him walk in the name of Jesus. And we all say, Amen. You're called Jesus, you know. Immediately we stepped out after the prayer, Fifi's walking changed from how he used to walk. Suddenly he could speak well. We never asked Fifi, how old are you? And he could answer correctly, nor for him to even say, I am fine. I've never heard my son Fifi respond to, how are you? All of you are here. Today is the first time Fifth was asked, how are you? And he responded, I am fine, clearly. I've never seen this before. Thank God for this GCK that he brought in Ghana. It has done a so miracles to us. And we are thanking God for all that he has done for us, giving our, our son utterance to speak. We are so happy, we are so excited because he couldn't speak, he couldn't walk well, but by the grace of God, just this morning, the miracle has taken place. Amen. So we are praising God, we are thanking God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.
just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. 